Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this beginner's guide tutorial, I want to address what you could do when you've just installed Daisy and you are a complete beginner on PC and console. So you've you've heard of Daisy, you've bought it, you've installed it. What should could and should you do in the first 10 minutes before you start playing to really set you up to enjoy this game? Because Daisy has an incredibly steep learning curve and it's very easy just to install it play it and think this is the worst game ever that's what i thought when i first started playing it and then uninstall it and ask for a refund so hopefully with the resources that you're going to be able to use from this video you're then going to really enjoy daisy and become a part of this amazing community and this amazing game that's been around for 10 years be around for at least 10 years more and will probably turn into one of your favorite games of all time okay so let's dive in so let's start off with the launcher now we're not actually going to play yet but i just want to show you the launcher we'll look at the pc launcher first then we'll look at the console launcher so when you fire up daisy you get a launcher so this is a program that kind of sets up daisy before it runs the main program and what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at servers so if we click on servers you can see you have these different tabs along the top and the main ones to start off to look at are the official servers and the community servers so the way that daisy works is that you have all these remote computers in various parts of the world and when you want to play you have to connect to one of them and you connect to it and you're going to log in and there's going to be lots of other people and there's no rules <laughs> unless you're on a community server that has rules and then you run around and you survive and you have an amazing sandbox survival experience so the first thing you probably want to do is just go to the official and what what you're looking for is a server that is in your area of the world um, that probably is Chernerus or doesn't say Livonia or, or Sakal on it um, and is uh, during the day so that if you decide to start playing a minute you're right so for example for me if I wanted to pick a server I would say this one here so look at this one Daisy EU Germany oh that's night time so I probably want that one here we go Daisy EU DE so Germany so it's daytime there's only nine people on it so that's good so I'm just going to click that on the favorite one there um, and then what you can do is you then go to favorites and then if you just refresh it it will then appear in your favorites and so that's the server you're going to play on now in your favorites try and only have to start off with like one server uh, say one official server Otherwise, it gets very confusing as you as you change servers. Because if you change servers on official servers, what happens is you'll keep the same character if it's the same map, but you'll end up in a different part of the map, and it can be confusing. You won't know what's going on. Now, we also have community servers. So whereas the official ones are run by Daisy Bohemia Interactive, the community ones are run by other players. So these can have different rules and things. Now, there's many, many different types of community servers out there i've just highlighted a couple here so karma crew they're a famous one spaggies a famous ones there's what will probably happen is as you watch daisy content on youtube and twitch you'll hear people talk about certain servers um, and then you'll want to try them out but if you start off with a nice vanilla official server that's low population so you're not going to get attacked by everybody all of the time that will ease you into it now on console it's a little bit different what i would do on console um let me just get my controller is i'll go into the game and watch the introduction video look at the tutorials for what for, for what they are look at the control so you get a good idea of that and then you hit play and this takes us through to this launcher which is a little bit different and again if you look at the top we can use our shoulder buttons on our controller to go between official servers and community servers so again i would go through and just look for an official server so ap is asia pacific eu is europe and de is germany and then i would just find a server that was daytime that didn't have too many people on it and i would just see in the bottom right corner it says uh, y favorite and um, whatever it be in playstation so you then favorite that go back to your favorites using your shoulder button and refresh and it would then appear there um, again as far as community there's lots of um, uh, community servers thousands and thousands of them let me just clear that so if i reset that and then reset refresh the servers and again you could you could favorite one 
I've just really highlighted my servers, which I'll talk about in a bit, and Karma Crew, they're, they're famous ones. I've never played on any of their servers, but, but they're a famous one. And again, as you play Daisy and as you watch lots of content, names will come up for servers that you'll probably want to try out. Okay, so don't play the game yet. Don't dive in because there's so much stuff to learn before you get in or so much stuff you could learn if you wanted to. So what we're going to be creating now is a list of resources and links to all of these resources are going to be in the description below the video. But what will really help is when you're watching this video is if you're creating a folder of all these resources, don't get too put off by the fact that there's so many some of them you're going to watch straight away some of them you're not but as you learn more and you want to learn more and you get hungry for for more you're gonna you're gonna dive in and, and go for it so obviously you ha might have daisy on pc and you have it on steam um, and if you have you might want to have a look at the daisy workshop now daisy on pc has access to the daisy workshop and the daisy workshop is what server owners and server modders on those community servers that you can go to they can add all these wonderful mods to it now this isn't something that you're going to add to your server um yourself it's not going to add to your game yourself as a player but it's interesting to look through and see what sort of things are available so you get an idea on pc now on console we don't have access to, to anything like this but we do have mods of our own so when you go into community servers they can have custom areas they can have secret weapons um, they can change the way the game plays and all that sort of stuff and obviously you can buy it on playstation you can buy it on xbox now on Xbox and PC, you also have bought, if you've got original Daisy, Daisy Experimental. So this is another version of Daisy. Um, where is it in Steam? Here we go. Um, in Steam, you'll find it. I think it's under Games and Tools. And so you'll want to install Daisy Experimental on your PC as long as you've got enough room. And on uh, your Xbox, you sh if you've got enough room, install Daisy Experimental. Just search for it in the shop. And this is an extra version of Daisy that gets updated before the main version of Daisy so that you can play it and um, get to experience new features before they publish them to the official public game. You can be involved in the play testing of this game, which is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you a link to the feedback tracker. So if you really want to become part of how Daisy develops, and although it's 10 years old, it's continuing to develop all of the time. You know, Play experimental every now and again, um, and it, you'll really help out the company. Okay, so first link really is Daisy, their official website, daisy.com. You'll want to come here every now and again because there's lots and lots of information. Daisy, as I say, it's not a fixed game. There's updates every few months. We've got a big update coming soon at the time of recording this video for Frostline, which is giving us a new map, which is going to be DLC you're going to have to buy. But then they have patches every couple of months where they're adding in new weapons or new game mechanics. Um, and it really pays to keep up to date with what's going on. And hand in hand with that, you should really go over to YouTube and subscribe to Wobo. Now, Wobo is a key content creator in the Daisy community. And what he's excellent at is update videos on what's happened, what's changed in the game, um, how does this affect gameplay, and looking uh, behind the scenes, if you like, into the engine and how lots and lots of things work. So make sure you go over there and subscribe to him. Um, also, he has a website, um, and on it ha there are the infographics by Asmondian. And these are absolutely fantastic. When you play Daisy, you'll see that it's really rubbish at telling you how to play the game. You've got to find things out for yourself, basically. Um, and what these infographics do, and there's lots of them, they'll do things like they'll show you, you know, how to make stuff and how to get, uh, treat illnesses. Um, and all, all sorts of stuff so I'll link to that in the description below the video as well here's a good one about crafting you know to make a stone knife stone add stone is stone knife stone and boulder is stone knife long stick and stone knife and, or bow knife makes an improvised spear all this sort of stuff really really good stuff you can just look for it and you'll go oh I didn't know you could do that the daisy wiki fantastic resource again um, the guys and girls do their best to keep this updated but lots of information about the history and lore of Daisy, how Daisy works, uh, the weapons, the the clothing, loads of great information in there. So check that out when you've got a cup of coffee. Now, this is a link to day the day. It's kind of a 
the Daisy page on YouTube. So it's not the official page or anything like that, but on YouTube, as you'll know, like on Twitch, if a video has a game associated with it, um, if you go to this page, you'll see it. So if you haven't got any favorite Daisy content creators that you watch already, go over here and just have a look and just start clicking on videos and start watching stuff and start subscribing to content creators because they will teach you how to play simply as you're watching them play. And if it's live, you can ask them questions. But there'll also be lots of tutorials, lots of inspiration, and it will want to get you playing. Also, Twitch, again, the DayZ page, go over the beauty with Twitches. It is live, so you can dive in and you can say, Hi, sorry to bother you, I'm new to DayZ. You know, I've got some questions to ask, and people will love to answer them. Obviously, if you pick a streamer that you know hasn't got like thousands of people watching at the same time, because then they probably won't answer. I survive, incredibly important. So this is going to help you find your way around DayZ. There are maps that you can pick up in DayZ. Um, and look at um, and there is a GPS but it's but it's complicated to use but you're going to go over here and you can download this onto your phone as well and you're going to figure out where you are there's lots of guides how to do it but the simplest one I'll give you straight away is as you're wandering around DayZ you will find street names uh, town names like this and all you have to do is look at the name and it's kind of in Russian and if you think well, I don't know how to speak Russian but just take the word so R P N W. And then you go to R I survive and you go R P N W. And you go, all right, yeah, that's it there. Grishto. And you click on that and that will show you where Grishno is. So as you're wandering around, you just take the Russian acrylic lettering, type it in as best as you can into there, and that will probably show you where you are so you can figure out where you're going to be. Your general goal on Chernerus is you're going to spawn in on the beach, and your general goal is to go inland. The best, better kit and the better weapons are kind of up to the northwest of the map. If it's on Livonia, and you could go to Livonia, kind of down there, you're going to start. Whoop, you're going to start. Um, go away. You're going to start in the north of the map, and you're going to work your way down. But start with Chernerus. Chernerus is the easier map to go along with. My beginner's guides. Now, I've put together a lot of my beginners going into a massive, long playlist. So, you know, bookmark this on your computer and you can look through and you can play some of the heavy, big videos at the beginning, the beginner's guides that are really long, and then there's lots of individual subjects about things. The one I would say start off with is my 2023 Daisy New Starter Beginner's Guide to Basic Controls and How to Survive. It's aimed really at console, but everything applies to PC as well. And this explains what Daisy is, what you're meant to be doing, and how to survive for those first 10 minutes when you get into game. What you're looking for, which is basically you want to get some food, you want to get some drink, you want to get some bag, you want to get some weapons. And then you want to head inland, you want to get away from the coast as quick as you can. So avoid all those people who are trying to kill you. Now, also, I'll put a link to this um little article I found on Reddit, which is a really cool, nice, simple text summary of what you should be doing when you're starting off. So I'll put that in there as well. Um, the Daisy video game Wikipedia entry is good because it's it's interesting to understand the development of Daisy. Because when you're watching streamers or watching YouTube videos, you'll often hear people talk about Daisy SA or Daisy Standalone, and then they'll talk about Daisy or Daisy Mod, and you're thinking, what on earth are you talking about? Daisy's just a game, isn't it? Well, when it started off, it wasn't. Daisy was actually a mod for Armor Two which is a military um, sort of sandbox uh, game. Um, and Dean Hall and his, and his mates created the DAISY mod. And then Bohemian Interactive bought that and then developed DAISY SA or DAISY Standalone. Now you can still play the DAISY mod if you're really committed. It's quite tricky to do. And DAISY Standalone is way better now. But just knowing the development and understanding the, the syntax and, the, and the, the way people talk about Daisy you know, can be helpful that way as well. Um, have we talked about the Daisy Wiki yet? So this is the Daisy Wiki. Go over here. Um, oh, right. What we're looking at here is game controls. So when you go into uh, Daisy, again, I showed you on console, you can have a look at the controls. If you're on PC, you can look at the bindings, but you have to jump into a game to look at that, I think. I'll tell you what, let's start that going in. Um, let's see if I can remember the 
password to get into that server and I'll show you that in a sec but I'll put a link to the daisy wiki game controls um, and then here we have this is the feedback tracker so you know how we talked about daisy experimental well one of the things that daisy has and behemoth Behem attractive with the publish and develop behind daisy is that they're really keen on the community getting involved in helping them to improve the game so they have the feedback tracker so you can play the experimental um, when they release new features and you'll learn about that on the daisy website and then if there's any problems or things you want to change you can report them into the feedback tracker now you can also do this for the normal game as well so when you're just playing normal daisy and running around and having a great time if you notice a bug or something that doesn't seem quite right or just something that you'd like to see changes, you can go to the Daisy feedback tracker and you can report like, they call them bugs, but you've got PC, you've got Xbox, you've got PlayStation, but features as well. And you you know, you might want to go over, there, go over there and say, actually, as a new player, I really would like it if we had a, a, a new player's official community, sorry, a new player's official server where we could spawn in and there'd be more food and drink and people wouldn't be allowed to kill each other just so, so that I could get used to the game. Maybe don't have some of the high tier weapons, maybe don't have the ability to build bases, but just so that I can get used to the game and that would be really good. Um, Discord, you're going to want to install Discord because many of the communities that you'll get involved in as you play Daisy. And we'll have their own discords which is basically like private forums that you can go and you can discuss things via, discuss things via text and or you can go over over um over voip as well so you can talk to people and have game chat and finally if you want to play daisy in a beginner friendly pve so player versus environment situation and you keep spawning into official servers and community servers and you keep getting killed or you keep starving to death maybe consider coming over to one of my servers now my servers are paid servers you do have to pay a little bit of money to play on them um, but the idea is that they're pve only beginner friendly and they do have boosted loot as well and we have servers for playstation xbox and pc we've got chernus and livonia for all platforms and we'll probably have frostline as well the new sakal map as well and it's a friendly community the the servers are all most of the time empty to be honest anyway so you can spawn in there's more loot so it's easy to survive there's things like full vehicles and generally you can learn the game in an environment where you're not going to get shot in the back of the head every time you go to a water uh, a water well so consider consider coming but again it is paid it is a few bucks a month um, so you know have a think about that right okay so we were kicked off the game so let's see all right so but what we've come to this bit because we can click on on PC we can click on settings you can click on controls and you've got key bindings there so you've got all of the controls there that you can then change as well so there we go I think we went a little bit over 10 minutes didn't we but those resources which have all the links below go through them I definitely say start with the beginner's guide videos and, re and watch those because they'll get you f f through those first difficult hours of playing Daisy and honestly stick with it. I've, I've been playing Daisy for several years now and I learn stuff all of the time. And the fact that the devs introduce new stuff constantly means that you have to learn new stuff. Um, it's incredibly enjoyable. It's an amazing community and it's one of the greatest video games ever made. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.